Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for post processing and photography. Today we are inside Darktable 3.8.1 and we are going to take a look on how to create your custom workflow. So a custom workflow would be in this case uh, that you're creating a preset for the modules that you want to load through your list here. So in, the, in my case right now, I'm using the scene referred workflow, which is the recommended workflow from the developers. But sometimes you want to go outside that workflow. Maybe you like to work with curves, for example, then you might want to add those uh, modules into a preset so you don't have to search for the modules every single time. You can simply go to a tab and select a module there. So that's what we are going to achieve. Uh, ideally, you want to kind of separate the modules into different uh, categories. Uh, so if your workflow is that you always control the light first, then for example, the colors and then the corrections and then the effects, you should probably uh, divide your modules into those kind of categories. Uh, maybe you actually do the corrections first and uh, the light and then the colors, uh, whatever kind of workflow you want to have you can have inside the dark table it's simply a matter of uh, creating presets for that uh, let's call it module presets so let's just jump into the presets here so if i go over here on the hamburger menu here you can see that my workflow is seen referred now i want to go down here and click on manage presets and you can see that the selected preset is the preset that's uh, shown to us but we have different presets here so if you are a beginner and you want to use the workflow for beginners you can simply select that here and maybe you want to add some modules to the beginner workflow you can simply hit duplicate and then add the modules that you want or remove modules that you don't want to see inside your workflow now let's hit the scene referred workflow and we are going to hit the duplicate button right there and now we can type in whatever name we want so i'm going to maybe call it uh, my personal WTF for workflow. All right, so we are now in our new workflow here. Now we can start and add modules to the different categories. Now, if we want to rename a category, we can do so. So simply, simply mark the words that you want to replace and maybe call this one light, for example. Color is fine. Correct is uh yeah let's call that corrections just <laughs> because we can and effects now we can replace the icons if we want we can have different icons here so for light maybe i want to have this one yeah i'm happy about that so now we have uh set up our categories let's uh add things to effects here so i know that i want to have local contrast in effects so i'm simply going to all available modules and i'm going to select local contrast down here so now it's added to effects we also have the contrast equalizer there uh, no i want to add stuff to the correction tab so let's add crop to the correction tab and rotate and perspective there we are and yeah that's fine now for colors maybe we want to add color contrast there we are 
and maybe Velvia, which is sort of like uh, saturation, but not as heavy. So that's fine. I don't want to remove anything in here, but let's see if there's uh, some more modules that we want to kind of have. Yeah, lots. Yeah, let's uh, select lots as well. Uh, that's something I happen to use uh, sometimes. So that's fine. Okay, so I'm happy about this pane. So let's move over to the light tab. So I'm going to remove local contrast, crop, uh, orientation, and rotate and perspective. And I'm actually going to remove white balance as well and add it here instead. Like that. Okay, so what modules can control the light? So we are going to add a tone curve. So let's find that. There it is. And we can actually add our RGB curve to colors as well. And we are going to add levels. Let's add uh, uh, shadows and highlights. Yeah, I think that's fine. And that's uh, controlling the lights and I, I'm happy about that. So now we have our four categories. We have named them different names and we are pretty happy with this. So let's just click this away and let's go in here in the hamburger menu and we are going to select that uh, workflow. Now, all of the modules that we wanted to have a, as a part of our workflow is ready to go. Uh, if you ever need any other modules that you haven't included to your workflow, you simply search by it up in the search bar here. But let's go through all that we added colors is there. Uh, all that we added to corrections is there and all that you added to effects are there. So now you can uh, start your workflow. And uh, I think it's a really great way to figuring out and creating one type of workflow for that fits you. So there's no reason why you have to use the default workflows. Uh, the default workflow, the scene referred workflow, is just a recommendation. It's a recommendation from the developers. And they are kind of uh, saying that uh, you can ruin your images by using uh, modules outside that workflow. But in my experience, uh, that's only happened to me a couple of times. Uh, so it's not a big issue. Maybe you should read through the manual at darktable.org to see actually what each module does to your image. But uh, you can also try with trial and error. You will figure out uh, <laughs> pretty quickly what module doesn't work too well with your uh, current workflow and uh, that's it for this video i'm going to do uh, quite a few of these dark table videos but i just wanted to kind of share how to do uh, a setup a workflow like this because i haven't really seen that on youtube so yeah i just wanted to share uh, if there's any question about this uh, please post it to the comments uh, and if you want to watch more from me, hit that subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.